Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the NJ Podcast. This podcast aims to share stories, tips and insights about achieving success while having fun. From topics ranging from personal development to business, entertainment and sports, the podcast will have conversations with experts and people in their respective fields. The podcast will also share insights from Jabra James's published and upcoming books. The tagline, which is the theme of the podcast, is success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. This means that you are doing what you have always wanted to do because it is aligned with your highest values and this is the only way you can live a truly fulfilled life. Your host, Jablo James. With me today, I've got someone who's uh, very important. Uh, well, to me at least, she's very important. <laughs> <laughs> to you and yeah, your kids. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not, hey, they're not my kids per se. <laughs> Let me not disown them alive. Um, yeah, so I have here Advocate Aurelia Ngumalo, and I'll uh, just read her bio out for you. So Aurelia Klopsil Ngumalo is a corporate legal counsel by profession who recently resigned from a boutique investment and consultancy company based in Santon. She is a skilled in-house legal counsel whose day-to-day duties include drafting, vetting, and reviewing contracts, as well as attending to any legal or governance matters for the organization. She is a budding social entrepreneur, co-founder of The Professionista, and lead in legal at YEA, which is a non-profit company established to drive the development and advancement of youth entrepreneurship. An admitted advocate of the High Court of South Africa who believes in passing the baton in order to impart what we know, the work she does in relation to the professionista empowers other young women, which in turn empowers her, an advocate for personal and professional development. She holds a Bachelor of Laws LLB degree, a compliance management certificate, and mostly recently obtained a postgraduate diploma in contract drafting and interpretation with the ambition to obtain her master's in law and information technology and communication. Oh. Yes. A quote that she lives by. <laughs> Immerse yourself in a life that moves you because what you surround yourself with is what becomes your life. And that is by Topaz. Welcome, Aurelia. Thank you very much for joining me on the show. Thank you so much for having me. Cool. Uh, thank you very much for all taking out your time. I know you're very, very, uh, very busy. And other than this very, very colorful bio, <laughs> can you please uh, let the people know who is Aurelia in your, or in your own words? Who is Aurelia from, from the core of your soul? Who are you? Aurelia is a dreamer, yeah. a doer, yeah. a legal practitioner, yeah. a brand essay play your part ambassador, yes. a career driven young woman in yeah. the corporate world, uh-huh. a digital content creator, mm-hmm. a life partner, mm-hmm. a mom, yes. a budding social entrepreneur, yeah. an influencer, mm-hmm. and a life enthusiast. Oh, yes, a life enthusiast, <laughs> definitely. Yes, so enthusiastic. Enthusiastic, yeah. So you're one of those people, like you go sit uh, like at, a, at a barista, have your coffee with your uh, croissant or blue cheese, or do you, are you just more real and down to earth than that? I have my coffee. I have to have my coffee. You have to have your coffee. To face people. To fa- <laughs> it's, it's for their protection. It's for their I'm protection. doing it for them. So if you don't have your coffee, we're all in trouble. Yeah, big trouble. Yeah. Um, you, you'll see the, the extreme negative monster. So coffee is my positivity. Coffee is my happiness. Yeah, well, it's my energy. It's your energy and it's your life. Yeah. If you don't have coffee, we're in trouble. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, load shading. Imagine yeah, if there was and, coffee shading. Yeah, yeah, oh, my goodness. Oh then, my yeah, yeah let's, be, let's be grateful for the smaller things in life. At Absolutely. least there's coffee. I would be writing a letter to the president <laughs> right now. Where are the beans? Definitely. <laughs> so, I want, uh, like, so, I want to get from your perspective. What does the following term mean to you? Success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. What does that mean for you? Sure. You know, I've known this term since um, your first book, yeah. Inspired Success. Mm-hmm. That term, yeah? Yeah. Let me read it from your book again. You want to read it from the book again? Go ahead. Where is it again? Success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal. I like the words at the end, the worthy ideal, yeah. because it's something that I am on the daily discovering mm-hmm. that as a person, you're also learning your purpose. Yeah. And in learning your purpose, you learn that also your purpose is greater than just yourself. Okay. Yeah. Worthy ideal. It's your purpose. Mm. It's 
what you've been placed in this world by God mm -hmm. to do. Yes. And it's bigger than yourself. Mm. Um, I, I recently was listening to something and it spoke about how you can use yourself. Yeah. And questioning yourself, but how will you as a person use yourself to and, 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 and with everything that you've been given to serve that which is greater than yourself? Yeah. How will you use yourself to become truly, authentically empowered? Mm. And it always goes back to self. So mm. the worthy ideal is the purpose that you, you, you have in this world and the yeah. purpose that the, the, the privilege that you've been given to share you know, to um, discover your purpose and to help other people discover their purpose. I believe you are mm. that person. Mm. You, I mean, in, in knowing you in our personal life, oh, yeah. <laughs> you, you, are, you have the ability mm -hmm. to reveal another layer yeah. in, in someone, a layer that a person might have not been open to. Mm -hmm. um, you ask the right questions. You get people to introspect, mm. which I think is a great purpose mm. and a worthy ideal for yes. you. And I see it through your books as well. <laughs> <laughs> you are the business. Yes, yeah, babe. Well, we're going to get into that. Yeah, you are the business, and so we'll get into that. Um, so have you ever had a time, um, just getting your perspective as a young black female in Ooh. South Africa, have you ever had a time where you did not have that sense of purpose? And yeah. how was that feeling? How was it like getting up every single morning? I'm like, I'm actually not sure what my life is about. I'm lost and I'm doing things and engaging in activities. That, yeah. Are draining my soul because I don't know that one thing that's that's pulling me. How, and how is that like when you're going through the, through that uh, period? Oh wow! I think I have been going through that period. Mm -hmm. um, I've been forced mm -hmm. by God mm -hmm. to actually introspect yes. and calm down. Yeah. There's a book that we discussed at book club where it talks about the art of resting because I'm I've been frustrated, mm. frustrated in the sense that um, I remember saying to my grandmother that. I'm a person who always has a solution. Yes. And for the first time, yeah. I don't have a you solution. You don't have a solution. I can't fix it. Just when you had the, uh, the answers, life changed the questions. Absolutely. So, exactly. Mm. Yo, I love that. Mm. Life changed the questions yes. when I already had the answers. Yeah. What do you do? Mm. And I've been in, in that state, especially with like leaving work and, and also leaving because I, I had no other choice but to. Yes, you know, the yeah. company was going... Um, was undergoing financial strain. Mm -hmm. I had no other choice. Yeah. And I was pushed to, to make that decision. Yeah. So since then, and, and, and me obviously not being honest with self, not being honest with the reality of what is going on at work, mm. got to a point where I was like, well, what do you do now? Yes. You know? And then also it's the worst time to be looking for a job. <laughs> so I'm unemployed. Yeah, I've yeah. been unemployed for a couple of mm. months. And that has been such a learning process. Mm -hmm. I've had to make it a learning process. Mm. And I remember I went to a, um, a seminar recently where Teto Nyati was talking, was talking yeah. about personal mastery. Mm -hmm. And he said one of the things that stuck with me was choosing empowering thoughts. Yeah. So with anything that happens, you need to choose empowering thoughts. Mm. So it's easy to be positive yeah. when everything is going right. Yeah, it's yeah. easy to be happy mm -hmm. when you are generally, everything is going right. 100%. But being happy and being a positive person yeah. when everything is falling apart yeah, that's is a completely thing. different ball game. Yeah. And it's a challenge. Mm. And I think... It, it's God teaching mm -hmm. me a mm -hmm. lesson. I don't know it yet. I'll tell you <laughs> maybe. When you once find I'm, it out. Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. When I, find the, my, when I find a new job, yeah. probably I'll see the lesson. But yeah. I do believe that the lesson is patience. Mm. And, you know, I think we all fall into that trap where when everything is going right, like, mm. oh, yeah. It's all me. Mm. I've done this. 100%. Look at that. Yeah. You know, and, and everything just keeps happening and happening. Then you just forget a little. Like, wait, mm. when things went good, who was I speaking to? Exactly. So now, when was the last time I spoke to that person? Yeah. Who helped me, mm. you know? And, and, and I think that's what's happening. I'm getting closer to God. I'm getting closer to myself. Mm -hmm. And with other things that are happening, like especially with the profession Easter. Yes. We had our first event and wow, was I frustrated afterwards. Why? 
it was, it was a powerful event from what, what I saw uh, from, oh from, my the, from gosh, social media. It was. Yeah. And I mean, our first was uh, Mam Nolita Fagute. She is a powerhouse. Yes. And she, she just... I think the entire event it was sold out. The ladies, the conversations that were were had mm. left me frustrated. Left me frustrated in the sense that, like, okay, what now? Mm. So now we've had these talks. We've got the professionista talks, great. Mm. We've got the professionista network sessions. We've yes. got the professionista coffee sessions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Now what? Mm. W- what do we do now? L- girls had, I mean. The ladies, they had um, open conversations about what they are going through, challenges that they're going yeah. as a black South African woman mm. in corporate yeah. or in business. Okay, cool. Yes, well done. Um, <laughs> we, we feel your pain. Yeah. Now what? Now what do we do? What do we do? So the frustration is now, okay, Aurelia, you say you're a corporate activist. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? What's the activity that you're mm. doing outside mm. of talking? Yeah. What are you going to do with these challenges? And that's now um, birth. A new purpose, yes, a bigger purpose than what I thought the professionista would be. Mm. Where now we want to advocate for women's rights, we want mm. to advocate for women's rights in corporate, yes. challenge, yeah, whatever policy. If there's a policy, we, uh, South Africans, we've got great policies, yeah, hundred percent. But is it being impl- implemented? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, of course not. Yeah. So I mean, like uh, w- with that, I remember when I was at last year, I was at a project management institute event um, mm. that was held on Women's Day. Okay. And I thought it was, hey, I'm going to learn about project management and yes. skills, and the best PMs in the country are going to be there. Um, and the MD from Microsoft, Lillian Barnard, was one of the facilitators. Um, very, pow- very powerful woman. Yeah. Um, then I got there. I'm like, why am I the only male here? <laughs> I think. And I'm like, <laughs> women's it's event. A women's event. I'm like, oh, oh. Is that the-? but I didn't actually see that. And yeah. One of the things that was uh, it was a bit not even a bit of pills it was a reality check for me is to actually understand what are some of the things that females in corporate and just take color out of it because sometimes it's not even about the color yeah. what females go through in corporate yeah. I mean being being undermined uh, being given positions uh, just to pacify them yes. and them not being heard in meetings for example uh, one lady gave a, a, a situation where she was like I would be in a meeting. Being chaired by the CEO, and then I'll give up and stand up and give an idea and say, let's implement this policy. And then the CEO will tell her, no, please sit down. And then another male will stand up and say exactly what she said. And then we'll be like, oh, that's a great idea. It's a fantastic idea. Wonderful. And then the lady obviously is frustrated now. Um, and and a feeling of some I type would of way. Lose my marbles. Yeah, well, exactly. You lose your marbles, and then you lose your marbles. Um, and right then you're called so, emotional. There we go. Yeah. You get caught. No, no, no. You're just being emotional. Just and calm aggressive. down. <laughs> emotional and aggressive, and um, and one of the worst things they said, like we are tired of being told to know our place. Yeah. So what 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 is what is woman's place really? So when, yeah. Mm. So what what when you say know your place, what are you saying? Yeah, that's what I want to know. What uh, does what does it mean? Yeah. Okay, so are we going to know your place where you are married and there's duties as a wife? Are we yeah. going back to, the, to yeah. the, that place? Yeah, I'm in business. Yes, and as, as 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 far as I'm concerned, mm-hmm. when we are working, mm-hmm. we are on equal ground. Yeah, hundred percent. I've got the same degree. Yeah, I've got the same work experience. Hundred percent. Probably more. Yeah, I'm probably smarter. Yeah, I'm pro- I probably articulate myself better. Yeah, but I'll still be undermined because I'm not a man. And so what is knowing my place in corporate? Those are the type of conversations that we, we want to be having and have answers to, yeah. you know, and, 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 and that's why we, we, we're learning from women that have been mm. in corporate. And you find that as much as their challenge was even worse because it was um, um, racism, mm. sexism, yeah. gender inequality and all those things. So for us now, it's gender inequality more than mm. anything. Mm. Before it's even race, it's yeah. just purely gender inequality. Hundred percent. It's a fight between a man mm-hmm. and a, what a woman can do. Yes. You know, and and one of the things that we, I, I I recently posted was that women were not created to be men. Mm. So even when you go into corporate, mm-hmm. you need to go in as a woman and yeah. not trying to be Unjabulo, yeah. the big CEO. I'll yeah. ne- I, I'll, ne- I'll always fail yes. in that regard because. There's, you are a woman because you bring certain values and certain certain elements or characteristics that a man doesn't have. Yeah. 
you are a nurturer. So you mm. look at things differently. 100%. One of the other frustrations is that you have men yeah. in high positions making decisions affecting women yes without the know-how without the background without the experience mm. as a woman mm. so surely it makes sense to put women in executive positions the mm. policy makers to be women so that they can make those policies that affect young girls or affect women 100% yeah because i mean there's some things that no matter that's why i ask questions like this is i have never been a woman yes <laughs> You don't wish to be. I don't wish to be a woman. <laughs> like, let me just be clear Even about that. Even if you try, no, you'll still fail. No, I don't want to. Be, I don't want yeah. to be a woman. Like you know, now, day and age, <laughs> some people to transition. But I don't want to <laughs> transition. Yeah. Um, and and the thing is that I can't make a decision as if I'm a reader because I'm not. Yes. Or I can't make a decision as if I'm a female because I'm not because yes. I don't under, I don't understand them. Um, and then also I want to get your perspective on on this. Um, might be a bit of a controversial take, but I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm going to share. Um, you know, people are fighting for gender equality yes. and women's rights, um, and sometimes, I, I, sometimes I get the feeling and I get the sense in some instances, not all of them, that women may not necessarily be ready for the equality that they're asking for. Absolutely. And this has come from the, from this perspective because now if you're saying I want to be treated equally and I want to be treated fairly <clears throat> and then I go and I change and, and then I say, okay, you're going to be measured on how, what your outputs are objectively, mm. whether you're male, female, we don't care. You're going to reach, this is your sales target yeah. or this is your output yeah. and these are the meetings that you're supposed to be in and this is when you're supposed to be at work and this is how you're supposed to interact. Yes. Um, um, and then based on those criteria, you, where how you perform is completely uh, up to you. And then uh, as some cases, uh, females will may, may be like, you're promoting me because I'm a woman or you're demoting me because I'm a woman. Yes. Or in some cases where like in some instances, it may be actually be objective and fair and saying, no, you're being promoted because you delivered. Yes. Purely just on the basis that yes. you delivered, not because of you, you're a female or you're not being promoted or you're not getting the opportunity because you have not met. The, the, criteria. the criteria and then um, someone may, may try try use the gender card and say it's, that's a, sort of yeah, I call it the no, gender no, card no, like I've a got, race card yeah, yeah it's like, like a, a race card it's, it's, it's like the race card it's just because right. I'm black or it's because I'm Asian but like it's not I because of that I think in, in advocating for gender equality we have to obviously take those things into account because yeah, then yeah. we're going to fall into a trap of where it's window dressing mm, where mm. how you know back then it was black people were put in positions without mm. even a say they don't have a voice they just have the title yeah and so that you get your be point yes so now women also you you can't put so i think in advocating for women's rights and advocating for women to be in higher position mm -hmm. it's it, it can't be a blank statement it also mm. needs to be what type of woman are you advocating for? What mm. type of woman are you pushing or cheerleading to be in power? Mm. Because you can just put any woman there. Yeah. But does she actually have any sort of power? Exactly. And what if, I mean, we talk about um, pull her down syndrome. Yes, PhDs. What, yeah, PhDs. And she's got the highest PhD, you know. <laughs> and what then? Yeah. You know, we, we have... So we have these gender inequality conversations. Then we have also the problem, woman against woman. Yeah. Which before we had was blacks against blacks. Yeah. So outside of just gender inequality, there's still just the woman against woman. The woman issue. against woman that you that you need to address and Absolutely, fix. Absolutely. I never used to address. think that was a real thing. No, it's a real thing. I used to think for like I, until I got a, a rude awakening. <laughs> I used to think that uh, females will, will club together no. and not necessarily fight against each other. And then I started seeing it in, in high school and varsity and started working. I'm like, wait a minute, you're all yeah. supposed to be on the same team. Especially yeah. in high school, then there's like a boy involved, and then it's like, <laughs> no, we can't be in the same yeah, team. It can't be. In the same i'm like why i mean like and it works better if you're in the same team wouldn't you agree yeah i, I, it, would, I would agree i mean like i mean like being a being a football fan makes no sense if i'm trying to go score the goals as, as a striker and the defender is busy scoring own goals like that's like what's what's the point counterproductive. Can, it's very uh, counterproductive behavior and so i've experienced that myself mm. and you know um I, I speak on this because i've gone into an organization where i'm like oh my god this woman i look up to her mm -hmm. And, you know, imagine working for, like, your role model or being in the same team. Or not even being in the same team, like, walking the same corridor mm. as her. And all you there to do is be a sponge. Yes, to learn from, yeah. You know, and you get disappointed because... Do you? 
all of a sudden she's just like Mm-mm. No, that this is, is it's, this is not that kind of party. That is weird. And she's yeah, and she's not willing to mentor. She's not willing to assist. She's not willing to to help you. Is that a function give, of her not having the time or just not willing at all? Oh no! So now I ask. I'm like, do you have the capacity? Yeah. Before I even ask. Yeah. And if you say you do have the capacity, then I will take up that capacity. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Take up yeah. that space. But it's it's not that function. It's um, you know, and 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 I've spoken about this because. I remember and I asked her and I was just like, oh my gosh, I just want to learn so much from you. Mm-hmm. You are everything. You mm. depict what I want to be in five yes, years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like, what's your power? I'm like, oh, what, what do you mean? It's like your physical attributes. What's the one thing you know that can make a man weak? Oh, wow. So I'm like, hey. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking along those lines. I'm like, what? Uh-huh. what? Yeah, I wasn't thinking. I was just yeah. like, my power. And I was like, yo, I need to go sit I down and think. think. <laughs> and, really, and then can I come back to you with that? I can that, read you know? minds. Oh, that's, <laughs> you know, I can I think. I can yeah. read really well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, mine is my bum. And I'm like, hey. Wow. A what? She's like, yeah, well, you've got nice legs. Use them. I'm like, what? Jeez. So, like, wow. So, I, I, am I thinking uh, that it's... I thought it was a function of... Again, that, 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 that opens up. I, I never... Again, this is me learning here. Yeah. I never I used to think that that was a a, a real thing in the uh, in the is. world, whereby you see you need to use like um, your your sexual energy or, or physical attributes. You don't need to use it. Some people do. Yeah. And I don't think that has sustainability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only because I'm like, once you start doing something or using your sexuality to get ahead, yeah, there's gonna be a time where that's it's not, not even, gonna work. It's not gonna work. Yeah. Um, and I also think if you get into the habit of that, then you also don't learn anything. Mm. You don't you don't want to upgrade you because it's just easy for you. You just need to use your sexuality or mm. use your your smile or your how to flirt. I mean, mm. it's yeah. Then what what happens when your next boss is a woman? She's not going to be attracted to your legs. She's yeah. not going to be attracted to your. Bum. What can you deliver? What can you deliver? What your legs you actually... are not going to deliver a report. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, unless you've got some of the skills. <laughs> they can help you. They can help you walk to some. Uh, and an yeah. intern, you know, yeah, that's, that's as far as it'll go. But like your mind will take you there. What you learn, how you develop yourself professionally, even in your personal space. Yeah. That's what will keep you there. Yeah. And that what keep that's what keeps you going. Yeah. You know, and, and sustains you mm. in those big positions. Yeah. You know? My ambition is to be C suit, you know. And how am I gonna get there? By learning. Yeah. Constantly learning. Constantly networking with the right people, networking and learning from people that have already Work. I'm um, walked this journey. You might have just caught me there. Yeah. But yeah. Um. Yeah. So I think I I think it's one of those things. And I I was I was listening to something. I was rather reading something by your favorite guy, Tony Robbins. Tony, that's my that's my dude. I got him on speed dial. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. So he wrote this this thing that um going back to the problem and having not having solutions. Mm. And I tweeted it and I said, it's identify the problem, Mm -hmm. but put your power and energy in the solution. 100%. So that's my focus now. Like, I'm like, even if I have like an argument with your brother. Yeah. I'm like, do you want solutions? Or do you want us to what, talk like about what, the like what is the like uh, this is a battle but like what is the war exactly like, what is the uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. what's the solution hundred percent or even your dad I went and I discussed Nolita because your dad has actually worked um and been around was their era with yeah, Nolita yeah. Fagute yeah and he said something so profound that 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 stuck with me where he's like she was the type of person or that rather uh, his boss had told him and advised him that. Don't bring a problem to me mm-hmm. unless you have an answer for it 100%. or a solution. Uh, definitely. Don't raise an issue mm. unless you have a solution. Yeah. And like th- that's that, boss. Th- that boss. is boss. Yeah. I wish I could tweet that every single day so that people, people would can under- get it, yeah. get it and, 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 and understand what it actually really means. Mm. So it's the end in mind. Mm. So what are you trying to achieve by bringing this problem or this mm. issue? If I go to my boss and I say, I've got an issue yes. with the fact that there are no uh, private rooms for young mothers or mothers mm-hmm. to um, to express mm. so that they can keep their milk in <laughs> an ice bucket yeah, yeah. and then take it home to feed their kid mm. and, and, and still be at work yeah. and not miss work. 
I don't have a solution yeah. of how it would it would fiz, it would be implemented. Mm. I'm doing research currently about wh- how what other companies are doing overseas mm. to accommodate women. Yeah, I can't speak on something without yeah. authority. Like what you're hearing so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking subscribe now button. Follow on YouTube, Instagram, and other platforms listed. Also, check out the website for more information. This podcast is made possible by listeners like you. Thank you for the support. Now back to the show. I can't True. speak on something without the research because yes. I'm going to come to you and be like, okay, this is a problem. Um, and I'm speaking from experience because I'm a mom. Mm-hmm. And imagine if I didn't have a car and I had to take a taxi yeah. and wake up at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Now my kid has to be in formula, which is not advised yeah. or recommended for the, the, the child's interest. Yeah. How can you as a company accommodate me? You'll be like, what do you think? Uh, and then you haven't even thought about it. I haven't actually thought about it mm. thoroughly. Yeah, I mean, like that's that's a. I mean, uh, that, that goes back to um, another a quote when I was listening to "The Stranger Secret" by Earl Nightingale. Okay. Um, he said uh, he asked a he heard a story about a, a doctor being interviewed in London. He said, "What is the biggest problem with people today?" And he said, "The biggest people, the biggest problem with people today is that people just don't think." Yeah, and lazy. Are they lazy? Yeah. And entitled? Yeah. And all those things. Oh, my gosh. The entitlement was... <laughs> yeah, the entitlement I mean, mentality, yeah. I was um, at the recruitment agency. I had a, uh, an interview with them yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we got to talking about that, like, because she was asking me about the profession Easter. Mm. And uh, I said, you know, it, 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 there's so much power mm-hmm. in seeing or, or, or hearing other people's stories mm. from where they come from. Mm. Like, when I started out, I didn't start out with, like, 10K. Yeah. But... People want to get out of varsity. Yes, you've got your degree. You've worked hard for four years. Great. Yeah. But you're not entitled to a job. You're not 100%. entitled to a salary. 100%. You have to work for 100%. it. 100%. What value do you add? Exactly. What value? So would you rather be at home earning zero? Yeah. Then be an intern earning three thousand five hundred percent, and also people don't, don't take the long term view. Absolutely. Because I mean, if you are, because uh, you can't buy. Or replicate experience. Yes. And they're not seeing that, oh, let me get two to three years experience so to build a career yeah. that will help me to add value to uh, to, to the marketplace and mm. to people. All I want is me, 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 I, 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 me, 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 I, I, me, yeah. me, 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 mine, 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 mine. Absolutely. And do you face that, uh, for, do you face that, uh, do you see that with black females specifically? Yeah. Do, oh, wow. It's almost like you, 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 you owe me. You owe me. You owe me this. Hundred um, percent. And 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 unfortunately, that's not how the world works. Mm. That's not how it works. Yeah. It's not gonna. And and we are breeding a generation of entitlement. Mm. I don't know if it's through Twitter or mm. through social media, but we are we we are becoming more and more entitled. Mm. And that's why with such platforms as the Professionista and even just us having these conversations yeah. to be like, listen, Njabulo is where he is because he started earning two, two rand an hour. Yeah, exactly. You know, he didn't wake up and be like, listen, now I'm a 1,900 per hour. Yeah. You know, he worked for that time. Mm. And I saw a quote even recently with, yes, you are not paying me that for the hour in which I in, in which I did the work. Mm. You are paying me for the 10 years experience exactly. for me to be able to do it in Yeah, an and hour. the value that and I And the add. value that I Yeah, add. 100%. Yeah, so I think I think those are the type of things with, with, with our platforms that we want to drive that mm. there's so much that goes into working mm. and, 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 and working also just sustains you. 100%. It sustains you when you get to the top. It sustains you because you get into that habit. Mm. Um, I'll, I'll talk from my own experience that even in the time that I haven't been working, I've been working. Yeah. I've been doing something and mm. I'm currently working with an advocate and I'm training under him and mm. I'm working with him I'm assisting him in all various cases yeah. with no pay and you know what I'm going to add that to my CV yeah. it doesn't matter that I'm not getting paid for it Definitely. but I'm, the experience is, is, is the investment that I'm making so that, uh, that goes back to um, the second book You Are a Business I think you're, you're a very fantastic case study for this <laughs> So the genesis, okay, so it's by success. I'm like, okay, success is the progressive realization yes. of what ideal. You, you know what success is. And remember the, the, the question I asked you at yeah. the launch, that yeah. 
Because I, I asked you because I, 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 I suffer from imposter syndrome. Yeah, imposter syndrome. Like, uh, like uh, imposter syndrome. A lot of people, you, you always be shocked how many people yeah. suffer from imposter syndrome. I mean, I, like, I, I, I think it was a, a Mother Teresa used yeah. to suffer from imposter syndrome. Really? She was doing all these great things and she was in a journal. She was like, I don't know if I'm doing the right thing yes. and Martin Luther King went through the same thing and Malcolm X went through the same thing Steve Jobs himself they're like um, I don't know if I'm doing if I'm on the right path or if I'm worthy to be doing whatever it is that I'm doing yeah. um, and I think I answered your question I said hey we walk by faith yes yes but, <laughs> no, but that's but the so, thing yeah you don't, have to be, you don't have to be great to get started but you have to, be start to, you have to get started to become great you know absolutely mm. and I think you are teaching people that like you know what Feel what was it? Feel the fear and do it anyway. Yeah, definitely. Uh, while I'm on that, my theme this year is feel the fear and do it anyway. Yeah. It's fearless mm. and fearless to the point that I'm going to learn how to ride a bike. Yeah, I've been so scared. And, you and, don't, but don't know how to ride a bike. I, I don't. You don't know. So how to that's yes, I don't know. Come on, but I really don't know. <laughs> and that's why I even said I was like. Mm, some people say it's as easy as riding a bike. Well, that doesn't apply well, to, to me because I don't know how to ride a bike. Exactly, you know? <laughs> but um. Going back to what you were saying, what mm. are you, yeah, you're speaking about, about your yeah, business. like you're a business. So, yes. like in terms of being a perfect case, I just, so like the hypothesis I put here is that no matter whether you're an employee, self-employed, a big business owner, or investor, who pays your salary, where your money comes from, or whether you're not being paid or not, ultimately you are your own enterprise. Absolutely, you are your own CEO, you are your own president, and you've got customers that uh, that you need to serve in the marketplace. You've got a product and a service and a value proposition that you need to go out there into the marketplace. And talking about the entitlement mentality, because I went through it myself, yeah. and I see a lot of people going through it now. Yeah. High school kids, young graduates, yeah. uh, university university kids they're like i'm gonna uh, start working and the entire marketplace owes me the money where they're not saying when you, two thousand jobs are being cut but you're being you cut, entitled you're, you're entitled and then in that in that case what are you doing to add value to your customers in the marketplace using your talents abilities and skills and once you have that mindset mm. things shift and things change and Absolutely. also with you i wouldn't say, I call it being unemployed I, w- I would say uh Get, uh, it's adding value in, in a different way. Absolutely. Ultimately, so like I but see it's that, that thing that mm. I was talking about, like it's 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 opening another layer of myself that I didn't know. Yeah, hundred percent. And I and and I say this, and it's a fear. I fear entrepreneurship. Mm. I love the comfort of corporate. Yeah. I love corporate. I'm passionate about corporate, but yeah. I also love the comfort it brings. Yeah. I love the fact that if the company is suffering. I don't need to feel it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you or, know? Else, or else yeah. they're like, well... Yeah. Because, yeah. cause, cause, I mean, like, I'll still get the salary. Mm. My medical aid will still be paid. Yeah. Yes, we understand. We're going to have conferences. You're going to say, yeah, the company's not... So you're yeah. not going to get a, a bonus. I get that. Mm-hmm. But I know every month there's a sal- sal- I love that comfort. And yeah. I'm not ready... And I'm a young mom. I'm not ready yeah. to be stressed about who I haven't paid because we haven't made enough money. Exactly, yeah. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be, it becomes tough. I mean, like, yeah. entrepreneurship is... Not for the faint at heart. Absolutely. And it's and I'm not going to say it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone who doesn't have a certain mindset. Yeah. You can cultivate that mindset. Yes. Um, well, cause some people will say like, I want to go into entrepreneurship. I'm like, be sure that you are, you don't hate, you hate comfort. Yeah. If you hate comfort, you're fine. <laughs> you can yes. definitely You know, because people speak of the glory of like, yeah, I can wake up at any time. Yeah, you no. can wake up at any time. But <laughs> do you have the discipline to do the, the, the work that... You, would normally take you an hour. Mm. You probably gonna keep telling yourself, "I've got the whole day," yeah. because you don't have the discipline of it. Mm. Have you? Have you mastered the discipline? Have mm. you worked on, in, in an environment where it's under pressure? You need to be diligent. You need to be disciplined. Can you trust? And, and 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 I think I've worked, but I also like there's certain areas where I feel like I can be an entrepreneur, mm. the professionista. It's, mm. it's, 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 it's a networking, it's, mm. it's, it's, it's eventing and it's talking, mm. actioning certain things. Mm. But in terms of law, that's not the path I have mm. for entrepreneurship. In terms mm. of law, I see myself, as I said, as a chief legal mm. and risk officer of mm. a multinational organization. Mm. That's, that's, that's the dream. <laughs> but I think ultimately uh, what I'm sensing from you is that you may not want to be an entrepreneur, but you've got the entrepreneurship mindset and yes. saying that I'm going to add as much value as possible to the client. And Absolutely. I think that's important. And that's, that's how I applied your, your, your book mm. in, in, in that thing. And I, just to add, like, after reading it, it also touched an, um, when we had our talk with Mam Nolita. Mm. She said, as a person, 
you need to have your own board of directors. Yes. And you need to have those meetings every six months and all, like where you have to probably have to cancel yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it's those honest have conversations. Have a glass of yes. wine and take that honest and brutal feedback Absol- and look your wounds and then Absolutely. improve. Absolutely. Mm. And, 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 and it's, it's, it's that thing that I've, I've always viewed myself as a business. I've yeah. always viewed myself as a brand. Whether I'm a brand or not, mm. it, 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 it doesn't actually matter. Mm. But the minute I walk out, mm. I'm a representation of myself, a representation mm. um, um, to anybody. Mm. You know, um, the minute before I talk, you've already sized me yeah, up. Yeah, like she knows what she's talking about. Exactly. Or you can think or, she doesn't or, or know or what she's talking about. Yeah, she yeah. looks like it, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 and yeah. all those things. So you, you, you are a walking business. Mm. You are a walking brand. Mm. And people, unfortunately, before you even speak, judge your base or base yeah. on how important or how uh, of, or how much respect mm. they give you based on on how you present yourself. Hundred mm. percent. Um, just a, a quick question. I don't know if you can answer this quick question. What switches in your mindset and in your outlook on life the moment you become a mother? Because oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I'm like, I'll wait the next ten years for kids. You know, <laughs> it's sacrifice. I don't know. It's 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 it's. And you know, even with the theme for fearless, for being fearless, it's mm. because of my daughter. Mm. My daughter's scared of nothing. Mm. She's scared. My my son is very cautious. Mm. He understands when you say careful. She doesn't. Mm. She's just like, let me yes. do it. And she she does. And mm. she'll she'll climb. She'll get hurt. Mm-hmm. And her dad will say, get up. Mm-hmm. You better get up. Yeah. You know. And 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 it's that. So the switch. You're like, like you, the moment you realize. Okay. Oh, okay. I'm a mom now. It's a mom. It's your mom. And you're just like, this person is actually my entire world. Yeah. That's the switch that happens. Is it? And I think you become stronger as yeah. a woman. You, you're, The fight is more than for yourself. Yeah. Now. That's why there's, there's things. I remember with my son. You, I'm getting teary eyed. Remember with my son and he mm. was sick and was just off to maternity leave. Mm. And I had, and I've, I've spoken about this in the podcast because it was so touching for me because mm. I never thought I'd be that person. Mm. So I was there sitting in my cubicle and I get a call that he's not well. Mm. And I'm like, I had to think. I'm like, oh, my God. Um, I just got back from maternity leave. Yeah. My boss can say this. Here's yeah, 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 yeah. Now I just, I'm, I'm, I'm even here. I'm mm. not staying full days. D- do you get what I'm saying? So I had to have a conversation about whether I should get up and go. Mm. And I was like, "There's no way. This is not. This is not the mother you are. Yeah, you, you're a mom now. Yeah, you I need got to do. up. Yeah, and I was like, I'll explain later. Yeah, I got up, picked up my son, took him to the doctor. Yeah, and yeah, that was the the the, the fire that was born. Yeah, so there was a fire that I didn't know I had so that was born. Like I'm gonna fight for you now. Yeah, yeah <laughs> definitely. Like yeah, because so, uh, some of the mothers saying that uh, being a mother is not so much about the children. But what you learn about yourself, yes, more than it's another layer. It's another layer. Oh, but it makes you like I've become pure. I've become not aggressive, but I've yeah. become strong. Yeah, I've become, become strong, strong in the sense like I'm like, listen, this this is what comes first, mm. and this is what I need to push. If I say my kids come first, mm-hmm. then I need to action those things. Hundred percent. Um, I'm in a position now. If I get a job, or I can negotiate. Yeah. I had kids when I'm, because I decided to have kids at that time. Yeah. But I'm in a position, I've got options. I'm in a position where I can negotiate and be like, okay, cool. Um, I've got kids and I need to be present as a mm. mother. So uh, I need to only, my work, I need to start at nine o'clock. Mm. I would like to leave at three o'clock because I need to pick them up at half past three. Yeah. I'm in a position to negotiate and, and I am, I have been, and I do negotiate those things because yeah. for me, it's my kids are a prior, priority. Definitely. Family is a priority. It's yeah. one of my values. And, you know, uh, in the personal mastery course, they spoke about that if you value fairness, mm. yeah, that also stuck with me. Yes. Yes. If you value, if you say you value fairness, mm. you have to, be a fair person across the board. 100%. In your personal life, in your professional life, mm-hmm. in your relationships, in your friendships. If you say your one of your values is fairness, mm. then you have to be a fair person. Yeah. If your value is integrity, then you have to be a person of integrity mm. throughout. Yes. You can't pick and choose. You mm. can't have uh, different 
personality on Twitter mm. as opposed to when you meet me. You mm. need to be because I need to. You're a person of integrity. Yeah. You have to be a person of. It's inter- that brand consistency. Ab- throughout absolutely. Your life. Yeah. It's the consistency. It's the discipline to mm. be those things. And one of the other things that he spoke about is that discipline. Um, and, and, and that discipline. Like with him, it's like you don't call me after seven o'clock. Yeah, I'm at home with my family. I don't pick up. I don't. I get to the office at seven. I'm home by seven o'clock. I don't do work at that time. Yeah, and you know, so it's it's that discipline, and then people, I, you'll be surprised. People actually go along with that. Mm. That's why I was talking about how businesses need to be accommodating. Yes. To women, accommodating to mothers, mm. you 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 can't be penalized for wanting to have kids or no, having you can't. a family. Yeah, there's something that I'm reading about now. I can't really speak on it because I I don't understand. Like I haven't read it in a research. Yeah, there's something called motherhood penalty. Do motherhood you know? penalty. Tabanga. <laughs> you penalize so penalized for... for being a mother. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no, I don't know who came up with that. I'm yeah, not going to yeah. comment comes, on it. it. Yeah, it comes up. It comes up when I was reading up on gender inequality, mm. um, because I was at an event over the weekend, and obviously it's a woman empowerment event. And I was speaking on this thing. I was just like, I need more research on what happens after you become a mother. Mm. Why does your career slump? Why? Why is there no trajectory after mm. you become a mother? How can businesses? Or organizations support mothers to mm. do better, mm. or be like maybe if you come back and you're a bit sluggish, and 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 what what courses are they work? Are, yeah. are they supporting structures and mm. business? Are men supportive mm. of of women when they come back to business? Yeah, I mean that that's that, that's something. The, men also need to play a part in the gender yeah, inequality. Definitely. No, no, granted. I mean the third uh, the third book will be is going is titled Father of Man, oh, nice. um, and what that's that's one that's going to I'm planning on releasing next year. Okay. Um, um, and it comes from a place of uh, seeing the gender based uh, inequality. And there's a lot of focus on females, a lot of focus on, yes. on, on women. I'm asking myself, if we were to build better men, not 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 perfect men, yes. build better men, yes. or people understand what a man is. I still to this day don't really know what a man is. I'm okay. still trying to find that out. You're still researching. Yeah, I'm still researching <laughs> and also going through my own life journey. And mm. I'm saying, okay, I want to be married. I want to be a father. I want to be a husband. I want to be a dad. But what is those? What do those things actually mean? One of the yes. things that I found is that there's not enough focus on building better quality men because if you build yes. better quality men, yes. this motherhood penalty I don't think would exist. Yes. Um, it, like people being undermined in corporate wouldn't wouldn't exist. So yes. that's uh, yeah. So that's something I'm busy writing on, and it will come out next year. So um, just two uh, quick questions before we wrap up. If you had a platform to speak to 7.5 billion or everyone in the world, 7.5 billion people. You were on a platform in the stage, the entire world is listening to you. And everyone has your undivided attention for a few a few seconds. Uh, from Beyonce, Jay Z to all your heroes, to all the religious leaders, all the females in the world, what is what would you say? And saying that you've got a short fifteen to thirty seconds, what would you say to the uh, to the entire world? Tough question, but <laughs> what would you say? Teach us. Teach us. Mm. Show us Mm -hmm. and teach us. Mm. I say that because going back to privilege, Mm. male privilege, Mm. men have been privileged to be put in these positions that Mm. women want to get to. Yeah. So which better way to learn than Mm. learning from those that have been privileged? Yes. Whites have privilege. Mm. Which better way to learn than learn from those that have been privileged yes. to not be black? 100%. Going back to we need men to assist. We mm. need men to raise females. Mm. Lift lift as you rise does not only apply to your own gender. Mm. Lift as you rise applies to males mm. who have been privileged, yeah. assisting women, yeah. putting them, being mentors. I mm. mean, Nolita's book, all her mentors were men. Mm. Mind you, mm. if now I'm a mentor, I want to be a wuntal. Yeah. Because mentor is still men. <laughs> yeah. You know? A wuntal. A wuntal. <laughs> I want to be a wuntal. Yeah. And a friend tall. Yeah. You know, so it's it's one of teachers. Mm. It's passing the baton. Teachers. Mm. We, we, I, I'm, I'm back to basics, mm. you know. We only learn from those people that have walked the walked. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and it's not empowering anybody to raise the woman while mm. you there's no balance. Mm. There's no balance because when you're raising women, you're not focusing on men, as mm. you said. So then you're gonna get to a point where the women are up here 
and the men now. Yeah, and, and who, who's going to marry all these empowered women? Exactly. <laughs> no, they're going to marry themselves and have kids by themselves. No, but, but, yeah. but, 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 but that's that's where it might end up going. Where mm. even now the focus is on young black girls, mm. young girls from um, uh, um, uh, uh, disadvantaged backgrounds, but mm. no one is paying attention to the boys. Ten years from now, we're going to start w- working on the boys, and then it's just it's just yeah, a cycle. Definitely. Yeah. So teach us, show us how it's done. Yeah, we'll definitely yeah, take <laughs> that. So just a quick speed round. I'm going to say a word, and I want you to share your thoughts on that. Yo, okay. I like talking. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you do. You do. Okay. Cool. Books. Yeah. What do you know? I'm going to say uh, oh, say okay, the word okay. and what your thoughts are. Shoot. Okay. Books. Lean in. Podcast. Super Soul Sunday. Oprah. <laughs> Education. Oxford University. Being a mother. My life. Cool. Oprah. A teacher. Steve Jobs. A leader. Tetonyat. <laughs> Oh my gosh, him, personal mastery <laughs> in, in the flesh. 100%. Yeah. Tony Robbins. Oh, a leader. I've said leader already. Oh, yeah. a powerhouse, a leader, a teacher, an inspiring man. Jeez, uh, I want to say God, but like, I mean, hello. Yeah. He's, T- he's close there. <laughs> yeah. T.D. Jakes. Oh, my sp- spiritual leader, my cool. father, spiritual father. Cool. Yeah. God. Everything. Money. More of it. <laughs> <laughs> Enterprise. Development. <laughs> uh, woman empowerment. The present and the future. Cool. And life. It's good. It's good. It's fabulous. <laughs> it's blessed. It's like, a blessed. Blessed and highly favored. Absolutely. Yeah. So thank you very much for Who's it. Who's you? Huh? Whom are you? Who am I? That's a very I good question. I am God's uh, highly favored child. Hundred <laughs> percent. So, yeah. thank you very much for your time, Ray. This was a very uh, insightful session. It was for very. Me too. It thank was. Uh, I learned a lot, um, and I'm going to go. We'll take the. I'm going to take this information and just apply it and learn it, and hopefully, uh, hopefully, you grew from this conversation. I uh, definitely as as did, I and I'm waiting for your book next year. Yes, hundred percent. I'm going to buy it for I, your brother. A lot of. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm I'm saying nothing there. <laughs> a lot of people are saying, in fact, I've had a lot of uh, females specifically saying, I'm, I'm going to buy it on droves. I'm like, hmm, No, money. absolutely. <laughs> but it, but it, it's that learning again. And yeah. if, if, if I'm trying to understand Jabulo mm. or understand Jabulo as a father, mm. I need to ask him and mm. get the answers from him. Mm. You know, you know better about yourself. So if yeah. I want to understand Jabulo, who better to get the answers from? Yeah. If I want to understand a father figure mm. who better to get the answers from so yeah i'm very like we're all constantly learning 100 percent. Yeah. yeah so that is aurelia Shubsile, Mumalo. Kagazile. Uh-huh. yeah you, you, i took that out of i took that out of the I you took, uh, but it's it's haunting me now because what? geez when i go home they're like Kagaza, girl uh, okay. like, this is this is who you are <laughs> yes. so we don't see you moping you don't cry definitely you don't, shine don't don't love yourself you they're know they're like you shine cool got that um weeks, and so. also um <laughs> uh, where can people find you on social media so on Twitter, I am Aurelia Ngumalo, mm-hmm. A-U-R-E-L-I-A-N-X-U-M-A-L-O. No underscore nothing, just yeah. Aurelia Ngumalo. On Instagram, I'm Aurelia Ngumalo. Uh, our website is www.theprofessionista.co.za, but yeah. you can also find us on Twitter and on Instagram as The Professionista. And then we'll see you at our next event but when next is your, month. When is your next event? It's next month with... Uh, a duo, Miss Matsi and Peggy Sukumat. Hundred oh, percent. Oh, yeah. I, I think I'll I'll buy tickets for. Please. You know, actually, what I should do is just take where I take money from my own own hard earned work and then sponsor a couple of females. So Absolutely. That they can go. We we had guys that sponsored some matric students for yeah. for our, one of our events. Yeah, so, I think yeah. I'll, 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 I'll do that. I'll do Thank that. Thank you. Find, I'm gonna hold you to it. Yeah, hold me to it. Like <laughs> I'll find I'll find some matric some matric uh, students. I'll put both boys and and, and girls. So yes. Can go to yes. The event. That's actually great. Yeah, yeah. So that we can also 
also also learn. So that is us. That is Njabula James on the NJ podcast. I was here with Aurelia Ngumalo. Uh, she's a powerhouse and she's going to go on and change the world. And also, she also knew me before I became the world number one. So she's got absolutely. She's, she, she's got cred. She's got street cred. You know. Yep. When, and when, I am inspired to succeed because of Njabula James Ngosi. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> so remember, guys, that success is a progressive realization of a worthy idea and go out there and change the world because you're the only person who can. Amen. Thank you. It was. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. We must take a picture of us yeah, yeah, yeah. doing our thing and then I'll Thank you for joining us on this episode on the NJ Podcast. Make sure to visit the website at the njpodcast.captivateair.fm where you can subscribe to the show in iTunes, Stitcher, all the other podcast platforms or via RSS so you never miss a show. You can also find the video content on the YouTube channel and Instagram page. That will be Njablo James on YouTube and Njablo.j.ngosi for Instagram. Please subscribe and follow on those platforms as well. And while you're at it, if you found value in the show we'd appreciate a rating on the podcast platforms or if you'd like to tell a friend about the show that will help us out too if you'd like more information about published or upcoming books visit www.njablojames.com for more information please reach out if you'd like to share what you would like to hear and which guests should be invited to the show and remember success is a progressive realization of a worthy ideal which means that you are doing what you have always wanted to do because it is aligned with your highest values and this is the only way you can live a truly fulfilled life now just chill until the next episode